and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide and today we got the free agency promo part 2. Now guys, I'm pretty excited for this because as you guys watched yesterday, if you guys did watch yesterday's morning content video, they did announce a Byron Jones. Now guys, I'm not that I'm a huge Byron Jones, a Cowboy fan, I'm actually a Giants fan, but he is gone, he's on the Dolphins now, so I could care less about him anymore anyways. But Byron Jones stats look pretty insane. I got a lot of feedback of you guys saying, you know, his catch sucks, he can't hit like Night Train Lane. I understand all that. But at the end of the day, if you can, if you can press up Night Train Lane and Byron Jones together, and you don't let receivers get open, it's Madden. If they're on the ball, they're going to get the catch. I mean, my Lawrence Taylor gets catches, and my, my Von Miller gets catches. I've seen it happen. But at the end of the day, he's so locked. Like, I've never seen a cornerback. This is the best cornerback right now in terms of stats, like on the card stats. He gets 99 everything, almost. It, it's, it's, an, it's ridiculous. I'm super excited for some of these cards. Brady, not as much. We're going to go through everything, see the whole bulk of free agency promo part two. Hopefully there's some more added stuff in there that we didn't just see from the reveal, but I am super excited for it because it is looking pretty solid with some of these cards that are coming out. Probably going to have to go pick up Byron Jones. I'm going to wait a little bit though because he's, he's going to be pretty expensive initially, but just like Jadavion Clowney and all the other guys, he should come down to about 350, 315, somewhere between there in a very short order. But guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the last few days of videos. I've been keeping the content back up since I got back from my trip from Florida. But guys, if you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are excited for that free agency promo part two. It helps the channel grow, so always hit that like button. And guys, make sure to check out today's later video, which I will be going over the best players at each position. But let's go check out everything. Super excited to see what's in here. Maybe, I believe there is Mutt Rewards. So if I do get my three free packs within this video, I will be opening them up. Maybe I could even pull one of the cards for Byron. That'd be pretty cool. And if I'm saying his name wrong, don't kill me. Zerk kills me all the time for saying it. I think it's Byron. I think I say Byron. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get into everything and see how all this content is looking, guys. Let's get on over. This new Byron Jones is looking insane. Powered up. Chemmed up. Yeah, guys, I can't even chem him up yet. I need his journey card, which I don't have yet, which kind of sucks. But look how good this card looks on the right over here. You can guys can still see the stats, right? Yep, we're all good. So, 75 strength. That doesn't matter. 99 agility. Insane. 96 speed. With sprinter. 99, uh, 98 speed. Plus job at 99 speed. Insane. On my team, everything. 99 excel. 99 awareness. Not, he's going to have 99 awareness. He's going to have 99 jumping. His catching 66 is not as bad as you guys made it sound. I thought it was going to be like a 45. This stuff isn't great, obviously, but it's fine. Play rec on my team going to be a 99. Man coverage going to be a 96. Zone is already 99. And his press is a 99. This card's crazy. It's insane looking card art. Gold 99. He can get quite a few chems and abilities and stuff too. This card's looking crazy, guys. His Byron Jones is as good as advertised. Highly recommend you guys pick him up. You can't, you can't beat this, guys. 99 coverage, 99 press, 99 play rec, 98 speed, 99 excel, 99 jump, 99 agility. The only thing he's not great at is really catching. I mean, I can deal with lack of catching at the end of the day. It's not going to kill me, considering how locked down he is. Obviously, we've got to try him out on the field, see how he plays with Night Train Lane and Dion together. But I imagine they're all going to play pretty well. He can lock up any receiver on the field. That's the beauty of him. Yeah, his catch, he might not pick it off, but he can lock down any receiver on the field. But I think 66 at a cornerback spot is more than enough to go on ahead and actually lock people up, in my opinion. I think that's just fine. Now let's go ahead over to the sets and see the free agency week two sets, see what is coming out. We should be also be getting mud rewards, like I said. So hopefully, hopefully those are going to come out on the usual time because it's, you know, it's Madden and we're... Used to things that come down in time. Guys, okay, so these sets are up. Here we go. Free agency week two. Tom Brady, 98 overall master. 98 overall Byron Jones master. 96 Melvin Gordon. 96 Robbie Anderson. 96 Brian Bulaka. 96 Gerald McCoy. 96 Von Bell. And 96 Joe Schober. Now, guys, out of all these, like I told you, wasn't a fan of most of the lower cards. Robbie Anderson's pretty decent. And Byron, Brian Bulaga, eh, he wasn't great at run blocking, I believe. Not a fan of those cards. Now, as far as the masters go, Brady's awesome. Byron's awesome. But... I think I'd only probably get Byron here, like I told you guys. Now, to get them, you have to trade in three week two heroes, which, wow, Robbie Anderson's already on the on the board. That was quick. So these are probably cost like 200K each. No, not even. Probably like 160 each. These aren't too expensive. Like 160 each, which will leave the card at about 480, which probably leave Byron Jones at around 300 and like 40K, which will be super, super cheap. And you do get back two of the week two heroes back now. So if you did do this set, I'd recommend you probably take Ryan Anderson. And maybe Gerald McCoy just as a backup DT for overall purposes. Could be pretty decent. Now, heading on over to the left, let's go see some of the... Let's see if we had to wait for Brady to be up, obviously. 
Now, I do want to see if we get our Mutt rewards on time because I do want to open up these packs for the video. Guys, no joke. Every time there's Mutt rewards, I end up finishing the video, posting it, and then right as I post it, it's like, oh, Mutt rewards are live. It's every time. I really want to open those on the, you know, on the video for you guys today, but it's not looking like that's going to happen. All right, let's go check out the auction blocks here, the prices are going for. I mean, I know Brady and Byron probably won't be up for a little bit, but to be honest with you guys, we did see the stats yesterday, although I do want to definitely show you guys the prices of them because things are going to go up a little bit. That pretty much wraps up, though, like what came out because I don't think we're going to be getting anything else with that. But I do want to see what the price is going for, of course, on these cards. I don't know how quickly these cards will be up. It'll be pretty crazy. People will be pretty crazy to have these things up already. I thought I just saw Brady right there. Let's go to, let's filter out by free agency. Oh, Byron Jones is up right there. 98 overall. Guys, I showed you guys his power up stats. I don't really got to say much more, but this card looks real nice. Let's compare him real quick to one of my cornerbacks to show you guys. Compared to Deion Sanders, he's right there. Like, he's right there. Athleticism-wise, no, but remember, Deion's maxed already. You can't get better. If you, if you power up Kemba Byron, he'll be right there. Very similar with better, way better coverage stats, well-rounded. I think he's just he's just an awesome card overall. Now, so whoever built that, built that super quick. Let's filter out by free agency so we can see some of... Let's see if we can find a Brady card up here or something. All right, Brady, where you at? Okay, there we go. 98 Brady. Let's compare him to my Pat Mahomes real quick. So compared to Pat Mahomes, he's way slower, of course. Throw power, way less. Short accuracy, better. Medium accuracy, better. Deep accuracy, less. Throwing the pressure, less. Throwing the run, less. Plaques, better. So throwing the run's important. You can't do that, which, of course, that means you can't, you can't really extend the plays. Throwing the pressure, important. If you, you can't run away either, so if someone gets back there, he's not going to be able to make the most fluent throws. Medium accuracy is very important. I do appreciate that Brady has that as well as short accuracy. But the throw power is a little too low. In my opinion, he's not my quarterback. But still very usable despite despite that. Now, as far as building these cards, I don't think they're going to be that expensive. As you guys can see right here. Let's see. Is anyone up yet? These cards are going for approximately. They're going to be a little expensive off the bat. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Robbie Anderson, 266. Like I said, they'll come down to like 170. They're going to cost about 480 to make. And then it's going to, they're, the cards are going to sell for about 350, 400 max. That's, pro, that's more than likely my projections for it. But that pretty much wraps up all the cards. Now, the only thing left is to be on a back out real quick. See if we can get our mutt rewards before we close this video, guys. But that is about it for the video, guys, overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy today's Free Agency 2 Part 2 recap. You know, it was fun, boys. I'm happy we got the Free Agency Pro. I think that's pretty much it, right? There's not much more we're going to get. There could be a Part 3. Is there anything left in real life? I don't even know. I'm blanking here. Don't kill me. But I don't think we're going to get it. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Like I said, guys, only way I recommend Brady, only possible way I recommend Brady is if you never run. Like, you don't run. You never do. You don't care for a dashing dead or escape. You are a pure pocket, throw 400 yards on your head every game kind of guy. In that case, guys, protected is super overpowered, which is an ability that pretty much allows your offensive lineman to block longer and more effectively during pass protection. So, could be very useful with Hot Rod Master. Like, if you're, like, one of those guys who's just super fast, motion audible conductor hot route master and protected you're looking you're, you're sitting pretty with brady pretty solid oh like i said i'm more of a pat mahomes guy myself more of a lamar guy myself gonna wait for the golden ticket quarterbacks in my opinion like rg3 lamar cam newton those guys can be pretty amazing but you probably not be able to afford those guys so tom brady could be i mean at 300k guys he's gonna be like 350 400 max could be a very solid solid option but it's up to you guys as always you know, make your choice. I think Byron's a must cop for everyone, unless you already have your cornerbacks all powered up, like a Nitro Lane, a Dion, and like a Denzel Ward, and you just can't go that way. I understand. I do. But Byron solid. I recommend picking him up. Right, guys, so that is pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's free agency part two recap or everything that came out. As far as Byron goes, guys, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick that card up. It looks insane. I told you guys in this beginning, I'm super excited for him. I want to get him, Night Train, and Dion all together. That's kind of my goal. I did want a champ later in the year, so maybe if they get a new champ, I might switch over. But you can never go back. You can never go wrong with four cornerbacks. Champ will be pretty insane, but that that Byron, if I make him and Night Train my one and my two, they can press and clamp up anyone, and then make Dion in my slot. He's gonna be he's gonna be crazy, crazy duo. Pat Tillman in the back, have Sean Taylor on the other side. Gonna be a crazy, crazy. I don't even know what is that quadruplet. There's five of them. I don't even know what to say there, but. I recommend you guys go pick him up. As far as Brady goes, Brady gets some pretty crazy abilities like Protected, Conductor, Hot Room Master. Gets some crazy abilities. But me personally, I'm too used to my Mahomes. I'm too used to my Dashing Deadeye. I need Escape Arts and Dashing Deadeye. I love those two abilities. They make it a lot easier. Trust me. I don't care what you guys say. They make it easier. So in my opinion, I don't think I can switch up from that. But Brady is still a great quarterback. I mean, if you guys want to pick him up, go on ahead. I won't, I won't say you shouldn't. If you're a guy that pocket passes, if you don't run, do it. But I do take advantage of my escape artists. And not because I run. It opens up some time for me in the pocket sometimes to make some big, pretty big throws. And let's plays open up a little more. But Brady does have protected, so maybe it works out the same way. But guys, that's about it for today's video. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out today's later video, which will be dropping probably around like 3 p.m. Eastern time. Guys, I know you guys are all stuck at home. Hopefully, you guys are all healthy. You guys are all doing great. And if you guys are, you're probably sitting home watching some YouTube. So thank you guys for coming here to show some support. That's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like. Hit the like button down below. Comment down below if you have anything about the free agency part two you want to add. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the Naughty Bell, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.